Hi loves! So today I am finishing off my college experience series with a Q&A and advice video. I asked forever ago for you guys to ask me questions and today I'm finally sitting down to kind of talk about them and then really just share a little bit more advice from what I learned with my college experience and kind of things that you guys can take away for your own college experiences. So yeah, I hope you guys find this video helpful and if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them down below. The first question comes from Twitter. This is actually one of my DKA sisters. Her name is Caitlin and she asked, how was the transition for your freshman year of college? I talked about this a little bit in my freshman year by year experience video, which I will have linked below along with all my other videos in this series, but really my transition was fairly smooth considering I moved out of state. I honestly really didn't get that homesick. I think it was because I just kind of threw myself into everything that I was doing on campus. I went and I rushed for a sorority, um, you know, right off the bat. That was like the second or third week when I was at Mason. And then, you know, I also just like really threw myself into my classes and kind of just took everything wholeheartedly and focused on what I was doing. And that really kept me from being super homesick until I actually went home and was like, wow, I kind of missed this. <laughs> The next question comes from Catherine and she asked how and why did you graduate in three years and then also about working in college. So first of all I kind of had a unique college experience because I did graduate in three years rather than the traditional four. It was just kind of something that I personally pushed for. I did dual enrollment classes and AP classes in high school and basically those ended up being the credits that would be my traditional freshman year with like gen eds and everything. It was kind of just the path I chose to take. I took a lot of advanced classes and really pushed myself a lot in high school. Even though it was really stressful at the time, it really just kind of got a lot of the like generic classes and things that you all have to take if you go to college out of the way so that I could go to my school and start focusing on film right away and that was really one of my biggest goals and why I worked so hard in high school to take AP classes and everything so that I would be able to really focus on what I wanted to do most. And beyond that of course graduating on time for like my actual college university classes it really was just about you know managing my time and really focusing. I was a full-time student the entire three years and I never had to retake a class so it's definitely not the traditional college path. A lot of people just kind of float along and take their time and make sure that they you know are doing what they want to be doing but I always knew I wanted to study film I never questioned it and so for me it was just a very straightforward path that I just kept following and ended up graduating a year early and then the next part of her question is about working while in college this I've found is such a delicate balance and it honestly can be so so hard it's something that I struggled with on and off but I think the most important thing you can do for yourself is remember that your first job is to be a student. Like you're in college for a reason, you know, you're trying to kind of advance yourself and gain more experiences so that you're ready for your career afterwards. So of course working while in college is important for almost every college student because college is super expensive and you know you have to figure out different ways to pay for it. But just remembering that balance and really kind of planning and prioritizing your time is the best way to get through kind of working while you're in college. And also find Finding a job that is willing to be flexible with you is amazing because some weeks will be harder with others when like papers line up or you have a bunch of exams or you know there's a lot going on in one of the organizations you're involved in on campus. Finding a job that really is going to work with you is one of the best things that will happen to you in college if you can. And it's also awesome to find a position that's kind of more stable like in an office or something because then you know that you're putting in that time between classes or whatever however many days a week and you know then you still have your weekends to yourself to do homework and other things like that. When it comes down to it, the best advice that I can give for working in college is really just planning ahead. It's really hard to not let yourself kind of succumb to procrastination, but if you really work at things and get things done early, you will be so much less stressed and it will help you so much in the long run. It took me a really long time to learn this, I'm not even gonna lie, senior year I still procrastinated a ton of things, pulled a lot of all-nighters. Honestly, if you just plan your time ahead, use a planner, it's so useful, you can keep track of everything going on and you just will be so much happier if you do that. Sheila asked, what did you feel the moment you walked across the stage to get your diploma? I was almost numb because I was just so surprised that it was actually happening. I mean, my whole senior year I was kind of in denial. I couldn't believe that college had already gone by because it just all seemed to happen so fast even though it was three years of my life. And so when I actually walked across the stage and like 
you know, looked around at all these people and realized I was standing there in my cap and gown and like this was actually it. It was really crazy and I think it kind of hit me in stages, honestly in the days leading up to graduation. So by the time that I got there, it was just kind of like, this is actually happening, isn't it? This is weird. But I was very, very excited. I mean, I loved college so much and you know, not everyone graduates college. So it is an accomplishment that I'm really proud of. and. It was a really cool moment for sure. Caitlin asked, how was the housing process at your school? I'll be starting college in the fall and we weren't able to pick roommates. Did you ever have a roommate you didn't get along with and do you have any advice on how to deal with that? I personally was very lucky. I never really had any major roommate issues. I mean, sometimes we had disagreements about like who needed to buy toilet paper or like cleaning or whatever, but I was very lucky and blessed to live with some really amazing people throughout college. I did see a lot of friends go through some struggles with people they were living with because they weren't quite as lucky and maybe there were bigger conflicts that were a little harder to get through. I think the best advice that I can give to anyone who's going to be having a roommate is that communication is so so key no matter kind of what issues you're dealing with if you're able to talk it out it honestly just helps you so much in the long run and also don't be afraid to use other resources you're going to have a person that lives on your floor that's your RA and there's also people that work in housing at your school and they're all there to help you it's their job to help you so if you're having an issue that you really can't work out just by talking to your roommate it's really helpful to be able to go up to those other people and see if they can kind of help you to work through it at my school the housing process was pretty smooth it was just kind of a selection process by credits so of course freshman year you'd get what you get <laughs> and then from then on you can start working into kind of um, better quality dorms I guess if you will. Freshman dorms just kind of are what they are, they're usually kind of just like little boxes and you have community bathrooms and everything but it's such a fun experience. Honestly living on campus I can't recommend enough because you just get to meet such awesome people and you really get into the community of your school. Overall I wouldn't be too nervous about having a roommate because honestly it's pretty likely you'll end up being friends with them and it's just so much fun. Amy asked what is one of my favorite memories and this is so hard because I had so many awesome experiences throughout my entire college career but I think my top memories from college are my retreats with both my professional fraternity and my sorority. These were all just kind of really fun trips. We'd drive out to a campground or a giant cabin or you know someone's house and we'd all just like hang out all weekend and just have a lot of really awesome bonding and just some of my favorite moments and where I just kind of felt like I was glowing from the inside out because I was so happy were at those retreats because I really did meet such amazing people through um, DK and AZD both and it was just so much fun. It's just kind of one of those like life moments where you just like are enjoying every second of where you are and so I definitely think that's at the top of my list. She also asked to hear more about film, maybe the best advice that you have for film. This is so open because there's so many things I could talk about but I think my best advice for anyone who wants to go into any form of filmmaking is that honestly practice makes perfect. So you're not going to get better at any skill that you want to work on unless you just keep pushing and trying new things and seeing how it goes. Sometimes you have to fall on your face, sometimes you'll have footage that you absolutely hate and you're like why did I even bother filming this? But you'll learn more about your camera settings and more about the ways that you like to frame things and edit and you know it's all really just trial and error. I definitely don't think that I'm an amazing filmmaker and I have a film degree but I have learned so much in the past three years and I'm really excited to kind of see where my career takes me and to keep building on that so that's definitely my best advice is just do it and see what happens and then go from there. So those were all of the questions that you guys had asked. Thank you so much for all of you who asked questions. It was fun getting to answer all of them for you. I do have one last thing I want to add. It's kind of my biggest piece of advice for anyone going into college, and that is to get involved. It honestly shaped my entire college experience, you know, the different organizations that I was involved in and the people that I met through it. It really just gets you that much more connected to your campus because if you just go to school and go home, it's so boring. There's a lot of things that you can get out of your education. Education. And of course, it's the main reason that you are in college, but you know, some of the things that I think have helped shape me the most as a person in the last three years were learned outside of the classroom and the experiences that I had with these organizations and my friends that I met. So I honestly can't recommend getting involved enough. It doesn't mean that you have to go Greek. Um, that's what I personally chose to do, but there's so many other amazing things on every college campus, whether it's a sport or a book club or you know a language-based club, anything that you're passionate about. Because college is so open, you probably can find something to join where you meet other 
people that share the same things that you care about and it's just such an amazing experience and I can't recommend getting involved on campus enough. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video and it for my college experience series. I really hope that you guys found this helpful and just got some fun tips and advice out of everything. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you want to know anything else about college or my personal experience, feel free to leave a comment below and ask me. This is definitely an open discussion. Now don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me because I will be posting plenty more in the near future and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!